Yikes, that's yellow. So this is Inca Cola. It is a creation of Peru, but made by a British man named Joseph Robinson Lindley uh, back in 1910. Uh, he started a bottling company in Peru and kind of gets glossed over in the company history exactly what he was bottling in 1910, but they jumped to 1930 and he has a line of 10 flavors of soda. Now, they only mention orange soda, lemon soda, champagne cola, and cola rosada, which doesn't amount to 10, and there are no images available, so I don't know what else they were making. But in 1935, uh, in time for the 400th anniversary of Lima, they introduced Inca Cola. And apparently by the 1940s, it was the most popular soda in Peru. Apparently it outsells Coke. Uh, but in the late 1990s, I guess they ran into some financial issues and they turned to Coca-Cola for assistance. And now they are part owners of the brand everywhere but Peru. Um, so I tried to access the Inca-Cola website, uh, but uh, I get redirected to Coca-Cola Japan. You know, if I had a VPN sponsor, I could mention them, but I don't, so I won't. Um, so I went to the next best thing I can still read, uh, which was the Inca Cola USA site. Um, and uh, I'll leave it up to you to look at the actual site, but, you know, I'd say they can use a little bit more polish. Now, if I had a sponsor from a website builder, I don't, but I'd introduce them to Inca Cola USA. Uh, getting on to the drink itself, it is supposedly made from lemon verbena, also known as like lemon bee brush. Um, I don't remember if this tastes lemony though, but anyway, uh, apparently it is Inca Cola's, the company's magnus, magnum opus. You know, it's their Da Vinci's Mona Lisa, Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, Daft Punk's Random Access Memories. It's Regardless of whatever else they make, this is their top seller. So, I will list the ingredients. And, uh, sad to say, I don't see lemon verbena in any of the ingredients. But, uh, you know, maybe they recreated it with fragrance. So, let's get on this. What's that smell? Hold on. It's quite effervescent, but... What is that sm Hold on. Uh, let me give it a taste. The, it smells of something really reminiscent, though. What the heck is that? I got it. Wow. Okay, um, I think you need to be in the U.S. to comprehend this flavor. Uh, back when I was a kid, there was this stuff called Bazooka Joe Bubblegum. It was, I don't know, it was something old. It, it came in like wax paper. It was pink. It was really hard. And it came with a really boring car comic strip in it. Um, I don't know if baseball cards still have bubblegum in them that really hard stuff but this is what it tastes like it tastes like like baseball card bubblegum or bazooka joe bubblegum not what i was expecting hmm i'll give it an interesting uh rating uh if you like bazooka joe bubblegum then you'll like this it's the liquid form of it uh, other than that, uh, you know, maybe I'll get sponsors one of these days. Who knows? Okay, till next time, the drink's on me.